Hey guys, and today we're going to be continuing the main quest, which is called An End to the Pink. And, um, yeah, I was just doing training with all the here today. Yeah, are you happy? Um, uh, can, can you take a baby out? Let's take a baby out. Not too much of a baby. I need level 6. Let's do some stuff with a baby. And we'll put little Foxy in. Let's go. Um. Hi Alex. Hold on Lucy, we have managed to calm Garnock's fury a bit. Thanks to your enormous efforts, hopefully there will be no more cracks for a good while now. The Pandoric imbalance is now smaller after our valiant struggle to contain it. It's finally time for a little rest, but the danger is far from over. Any moment now, Dark Core could do something malicious to disturb the balance again, if they haven't already. Uh. Now that you're a full member of the Lightning Circle, well, very well done. Lucy, uh, not many people make it this far, Lucy, just so you know. You really are something special. Congratulations and welcome to the Lightning Circle. Yay! Is that it? Oh, I'm meeting at the forest. Greendale. Oh, Starshine, the horse. Hail, Soul Rider, I am Starshine, Snort. It did say Hail, right? Or Horse. Yeah, I think it did. <laughs> I recognize a true Soul Rider when I see one. And you most definitely one. I sense it a long way off. So your name is Lucy. Pleasure to meet you. Nay. You know Alex and Linda too. It's absolutely brilliant. But I take it you haven't met Lisa. No, I have not. Um, I thought not, Snort. Yes, it's true. Lisa is gone, as I am, as I said. I am Starshine, and Lisa is my soul rider. But now she is missing, and I fear the worst of... I re relayed the tale of what happened, Snort. After the time from Jovic, when Lisa travelled around the world playing her um, electrical loop, or whatever you call it, and howling loudly in front of hysterical audiences for payment and such um, nonsense, the day I had longing for finally arrived, the day my beloved Lisa finally returned to Jovic's stables. Straight out of the moors we ran, the wind roaring and whirling through my mane, messing up Lisa's fiery hair, red hair. Matching the howl of the winds of spring, we bellowed in pure joy, the delight of seeing one another knew no boundaries. Lisa whispered and promised she'd never be part again. She said that we were, she would remain on Jovic. I thought I'd never let her leave me again, but I didn't say didn't say so at the time. We galloped and galloped over the plains. We rode for a long time. In the afternoon came, my memory starts to fail me. Something horrible happened during the ride. I cannot remember what or how it happened. My only recollection is a sharp, sudden ray of light and the strange sound. Then everything went black. I think I must have passed out. When I regained conscience, I was woozy and unable to orientate myself. Night had fallen and the rain had and thunder started rumbling. Perhaps the rain woke me or some maybe the cold, but the worst part I couldn't sense Lisa's presence at all. Maybe she got like trapped in that pink glowing light and the crash. Maybe. Dazed feeling and lost, wandering amazingly. Before dawn I found my way back to Jovic Stage and hoped to find Lisa, but there was no one there. She's been gone ever since. My despair is endless. I've spent le many long weeks searching for Lisa. I've looked all over it right now. I'm searching beneath every leaf in Greendale Forest, but soon I won't be able to... Soon I won't have anywhere else to look. Sob. My heart is heavy with grief. Would you like me to help you look? Oh, you're saying you've received a reliable indication of Lisa that's been rendered defenseless in the hidden in Greydew Mountains? 
interesting, very interesting. I have partial memory of us going on a ride in the northern parts of the mountain. It could, it could be right. I've looked there without finding anything. Maybe I haven't looked close enough. Can you help me look for Lisa and search for new clues? Oh, yes, Starshine. Let's meet. Okay. Cool. Oh, he called me his friend. Alright, we gotta go to the Grey Dew Mountain. Cool. It's like a shelter, kind of. Found nothing of interest. I bet it's up near the trailer. Because it's so far away from everything else. Nothing of interest. Let's go up here towards the trailer. And I'll work our way down again. This is the last plastic down here, I assume. No. Where's the next plastic? On the wall. Oh! A silhouette burns into the face of the mountain. So it looks like she got thrown from Starlight. By the looks of it, she got thrown. Something isn't quite right about this spot. No natural fire could have caused this. And it, there seems to be a, a muddle of old tracks on the ground. Oh yeah, so. Yeah, this looks like Starlight's track. This doesn't look like footprint. It just looks like... Hi, Starshine. Oh no, it wasn't Starlight. Starshine. Oh my goodness. I forgot his name. A back a backend... A blackened mountain wall. A spot that's been burned by an unnatural fire. Old tracks. Very interesting. <laughs> Nay. Show me where it is. Let's go to the strange spot you found. Cool. We'll head off. Um. Go up. So you're saying that it was the Dark Riders who mm, conducted this cowardly assault and took Lisa? After seeing this, I'm afraid your information is correct. They will... They'll pay dearly for this. If they harm such as must a single red hair on her, I'll personally see to those that have inferior dark riders are sent to the darkest eternity. We will comb the area for more clues. We'll gas ga grassy knoll upside down. Okay. Search for more clues. Because he said up the cliff. Um... He said fern, so I'm curious if I found something. This jalop he seemed to be hiding something. Aha! Whatever, what can this crack mean? Take me to this crack. Cool. Don't stand in it, dude. Oh, Lucy. Sob. By the lights of Aiden. I think the evil dark riders have hidden our beloved Lisa inside the crack. They must have cast some sort of forbidden black magic and succeeded sending Lisa to the... Pandora. Oh, that's what they call it, Pandora. <laughs> I forgot. Hello, Lisa, are you down there? Can you hear me, Lisa? It's me, your starshine. Hello, are you there? Do you know what, Lucy? I actually believe I sense some kind of presence of what could be Lisa. Oops, that's the wrong button. Do you feel it, Lucy? It 
It feels like Lisa's here, yet far away at the same time. Everything is spinning. I hear some whispering. A voice is trying to reach out. Hello, Lisa? Listen to the dialogue. Hello, Lisa? It's me, Lisa. Who's there? Lisa, it's me, Starshine. How can we help you? Uh, um, are, are you alive? I'm alive, Starshine. My darling, Starshine. I'm all, I lost, I'm lost in the pink. It's Pandora. I'm captured beyond our time and space. Lisa, Lisa, there must be a way to save you. Lisa? Sleeping Widow, oh, wake her, wake up her. The wake the Sleeping Widow, she's the only one who can save me. I see you, Starshine, I see you. Ooh, I'm passing through the ages. For you, time is the essence, for me is everlasting. Lisa, we will make the Sleeping Widow, who is it? We will wake the Sleeping Widow, who is it and how? Wake, wake, wake up, Widow, and help me out. You stay behind, Starshine. And keep the crack open until the widow is awoken. Stay. I won't leave you here. We'll wake that widow. I promise, Lisa. I promise. Oh, hurry. No longer. I feel like this is very manipulative. Like, this isn't actually Lisa. I just have a feeling. So, are you gone now? But I will stay with you. Hold on, my... Hold on, beloved Lisa. Do you... Not fear Pandora. You will now... You know how to resist it. You can do it. I know you can. Why do I feel like this... Whatever the... This is it. This person we have to wake. The sleeping widow. I feel like this person is either a good guy or a bad guy. I just don't know. But since it's Pandora, I feel like it's a bad guy. Um, we have no idea who the sleeping widow is. Do you think Linda might know? Genius, ask her. I'm going to stay here and make sure the crack doesn't close. Alright. Okay. Are you Hi, Lucy. I'm going out for a ride. Want to join? No. You look like you're in a hurry. What is going on? You and Starshine found Lisa. That's incredible. But the bad news is that she needs rescue from Pandora and Lisa says... It can only be done by waking the sleeping widow. Ah, the sleeping widow. She's talking about a specific individual that goes by the name I see. No, I don't know who it might be. I'll go to the farm's library and check out the book. Ask the baroness if she knows something while you wait. You can find me in the library later. Good day, Lucy. Another lovely day among the great grapevines. Here on the plantation, isn't it? Back up. Oh, no, I want to back up. If you know anything about the Sleeping Widow... No, Lucy. You might have to trust Linda. Find something in the library books. She might find them. The Baroness didn't know? Okay, bad luck. My master can help us? I don't think so. He does know a lot, but he doesn't know everything. I think he exaggerates his own image somewhat and cultivates a picture of himself that is way too legendary and that book and that oh my goodness you are going to be here a while if you're going to read a dozen books why don't you pay the spy master a visit and ask him if he knows anything about the sleeping widow while i look through these books for information he probably doesn't know anything it's not really his kind of stuff he knows it probably won't lead to anything in the life. I've been expecting you. I know why you're here. But to make it normal, conversation out of it, I'll allow you to tell me why you've come. It pertains to some sort of blindness to go outside the world. What do I know? That's all I can say, unfortunately. Is that enough? I feel like that's just what Linda said. Hmm, I'm sorry, Lucy. That's all I can say. However, I'm convinced your friend Linda will find the answer in one of those books. She hasn't already, sooner rather than later. 
I suspect he wouldn't know anything about Sleeping Widow. Yeah, we all know that. All right, well, that's the end of that.